Hello everyone, I'm Avishi Jain and today I'm going to discuss with you the upcoming event which was launched by Google which is Discover, Design and Develop. So without wasting time, let's start. So in this event, mein, Google has launched an opportunity to learn and build together through a series of content. So basically, Google has provided a series of content series. You can see the different uh, events आप देख सकते हो जैसे सॉल्यूशन चैलेंज हो गया देन एंड्राइड पे है वेब पे है एआईएमएल पे है फ्लटर पे है तो इन सब पे गूगल ने इवेंट कराना है तो हर साल अलग-अलग कैंपेंस होते थे एआईएमएल का अलग गुड कैंप एंड्राइड का अलग है वेब डी का अलग है सॉल्यूशन चैलेंज तो होता ही था वो भी है इस बार इसमें साथ में फ्लटर का भी होता था तो इस बार ये सारे एक साथ है तो ये हो कैसे रहा है कि गूगल ने इन सब चीजों के हमें कंटेंट प्रोवाइड किए हैं जीडीएसईस को एंड वो आपको कंटेंट प्रोवाइड कराएंगे अपने कम्युनिटीज को फर्दर एंड उसी के साथ-साथ इस बार सॉल्यूशन चैलेंज भी साथ-साथ ही इसी के ही कैंपेन का पार्ट की तरह हो रहा है ठीक है अब आज के लिए आपका एजेंडा है कंटेंट माइलस्टोन्स ट्रेनिंग्स टाइमलाइंस एंड रिवॉर्ड्स सो दिस इज व्हाट आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द कंटेंट पार्ट गूगल ने हमें हर एक-एक डोमेन का कंटेंट प्रोवाइड किया है तो एमएल का प्रोवाइड किया गया है ये पांच वीक्स का कंटेंट दिया गया है हर जीडीएससी को आफ्टर दैट देयर इज अ कंटेंट ऑन एंड्रॉइड यू कैन सी दैट देन देयर इज फ्लटर कंटेंट कैसे इंस्टॉल करते हैं एक्सप्लोर करते हैं फ्लटर को डार्ट एंड फ्लटर सो डोंट वरी योर कम्युनिटीज वुड बी हेल्पिंग यू आउट बाय प्रोवाइडिंग यू विद द डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस कंटेंट आपको प्रोवाइड करेंगे आपके जीडीएससीस नाउ वेब का कंटेंट भी दिया गया है एंड सो ऑन ऐसे कर कर के जितने भी कैंपेन्स मैंने आपको दिखाए थे उन सब का कंटेंट यहाँ पे प्रोवाइड कर दिया है ठीक है अब आगे आते हैं मेन चीज पे दैट हाउ विल यू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द डिस्कवर डिजाइन डेवलप कैंपेन सो एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस कैंपेन your GDSEs would be hosting the information sessions, the workshops, hackathons to help your community learn more about these technologies and build the projects using these concepts. So in concepts ko use karke, they are going to tell you uh, and they are going to host certain info sessions, workshops or hackathons. And also they are going to train you how to submit the solutions for the solution challenge. Now speakers would also be invited. Now coming on to what is solution challenge आप बार बार सोच रहे हो. Before that, uh, how does this campaign help your college? Uh, that is somewhat uh, related to the GDSEs only. Still, there are certain milestones which were being set by Google this time for this campaign. They are platinum, gold, silver and bronze. ये क्या होते हैं मैं आपको आगे बताऊंगी. Now, what are regional boot camps? So, they are in, pers uh, in person help session for the team to get the guidance from experts to enhance the quality of their solutions. Now, um, when we'll cover the solution challenge, I will again come back to regional boot camps part. Now, what is solution challenge? Just uh, mainly you joined the video, you are watching the video right now just for that. So, solution challenge is basically a kind of small hackathon which Google conducts for all the students who are in colleges right now. So they are basically uh, there to solve for one of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals using the Google technology. So there are total 17 uh, Sustainable Development Goals of United Nations. They are like a problem statement for you. And for that, you need to solve and you need to provide a solution for that particular problem statement. Just like you usually do in a hackathon. You are being provided with a uh, problem statement and you are providing a software solution to that problem and for that you need to use the google technologies now what are these 17 sustainable goals i will be adding the link about that in the description you can uh, catch up there now um, coming on to the timeline for the solution challenge which google has provided so you need to join a club you need to uh, form a team you need to select a goal so this is the part about registration it uh, i would be covering this in the timeline also so uh, let's move on to the submission criteria. Okay, let me cover the timeline first and then we'll move back to that. So uh, this is the timeline for the Discover Design Develop, the campaign which was launched by Google. So from December to February, you can see December to February, the solution challenge is going to last. 
So solution challenge ki registration dates have started from December 1 to January 20. So between this time you can register yourself for the global level, global challenge. So this is globally. This is not regionally limited to India only. This is a global one. Right. Now what is a regional boot camp? Uh, regional boot camps are there to uh, help uh, to get the experts help you in uh, providing an efficient solution to your problem. Supposingly, you produced a solution. You have made a problem statement pick solution. Banaya hai, and for that, you have to उस प्रॉब्लम के लिए एक्सपर्ट्स होंगे गूगल के हु वुड बी हेल्पिंग यू आउट इन यू नो काइंड ऑफ टेलिंग यू व्हाट एल्स यू शुड ऐड इन योर प्रॉब्लम व्हाट चेंजेस यू शुड मेक मेक इन योर प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट इट इज कैपेबल इनफ टू बी सेंट टू टॉप 100 ग्लोबली सो द प्रोजेक्ट्स आर देयर दे वुड बी वैल्यूएटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ग्लोबल क्राइटेरियाज एंड जस्ट टू हेल्प यू गेट इनटू दैट टॉप 100 रीजनल बूट कैंप्स आर देयर so they would be held between January 4 and January 20. So I would suggest since the registration is till January 20. So I would say that before January 4, try to register yourself so that you can apply for the regional bootcamp registration. After that, the project submission is from January 21 to February 22. This is the timeline which you can submit your project. Now coming on to the Google campaign of the Android and AI ML that is from December 1st to February 28. So this is the timeline. Now let's uh, see the broad detail timeline. So the AI ML solution challenge has been started from 1st December. Also the solution challenge registrations have started. Uh, on the 12th of December there would be an Android campaign workshop. Uh, similarly, on the 4th of January, uh, as we have seen in the last page, the regional bootcamp registration starts. Now, uh, you can take a screenshot of this because this is something which you need to remember. Otherwise, you would be lagging behind in the timeline part. So, on the 9th of January, you have the AIML workshop. 11th of January, the solution challenge kickoff event is there. So, kickoff event is a global one that is... Uh, conducted by uh, Google globally. So this is the kickoff event, which is the very starting of the solution challenge by Google. Now the pro uh, project submissions for the top 100, they start from the 21st of January. 20th of January, the registrations are closing. Of course, that is why the project submissions are starting from 21st. Of course, that's quite clear. Now, 16th of January, there is again an uh, AIML workshop. And at last, 28th Feb is the time when the AIML campaign also ends. So this was all about the timeline. I hope I covered everything here up till now. Now coming back to the submission criteria for the final project submissions. So for the solution challenge, if you are looking forward to solution challenge part, from this part of the video, I'm covering only the solution challenge. So uh, only those who of you who want to know more about it, they can watch it. So what is the submission criteria for the final project submission? First of all, you need to make a project setup. You need to implement it. You need to give a feedback, testing or iteration. You need to give a success and completion of the solution. And you need to tell its scalability. Don't get confused. I am going to elaborate these points. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah. So let's start with the uh, criteria for the project submission. The very first criteria is... For your uh, solution challenge, if you want to give a project, you want to submit a project for solution challenge, you need to clearly describe the challenge you are solving for a problem statement. So there were 17 uh, this sustainable goals. So obviously you have 17 problem statements. And for that, you need to describe the challenge which you are opting for, which you are trying to uh, you know, produce a solution for. So what United Nations Sustainable Goal and the targets did you choose for the solution? It's quite obvious. Aapne jo goal choose kiya hai and the targets which you have chosen, you need to describe more about it and you need to tell that what inspired you to select these specific goals and targets. What was the thing which captivated you, which, uh, which you know, kind of... Uh, uh, inculcated the tendency for you to pick that topic up for uh, pr producing a solution for that. Uh, coming on to the third one, third point which you need to consider, that is to describe the architecture that your team chose for your solution. 
you need to tell that this particular thing is the architecture this is the architecture of my solution this is the component there are the two components which are arising from it a component se do aur components aa rahe hain aise aise karke matlab aapne jo solution diya hai for example this is my website i am telling that this is a component this is my footer portion this is my uh, about section so this is the kind of architecture which you are going to display to them you need to tell what are the high level components you can tell i have an html page a uh, web page which is my high level component without it you cannot you know build a solution so what is the responsibility of each component i'm just giving you an example of web of course there are going to be many uh, other uh, solutions which you can produce you need to tell the responsibility of each component which you have used fourth you need to specify the products and the platforms did you choose to implement the components which products and platforms you can tell the uh, products or the platforms for for example if you're taking an ai ml solution you can tell that i yeah i have used a uh, kaggle for that i have used tensorflow just like that you can tell your products and the platform suit you which you chose now coming on to the feedback testing and iteration this is one of the most important part because if you are producing a solution google wants you to get it tested by the users now how uh, you have to do it you have to walk them through the steps you took uh, to to test your solution with the real users so you need to test your solution with the real users outside of your team so aap test unse karaoge from those people who are not a part of your team provide three specific uh, feedback points you received from the real users you need to tell three specific feedback points which those users who tested your solution they gave you so these are the feedback point you need to work on it you need to tell how you improved the solution using it you need to tell the three specific things that you implemented and improved for your solution based on the feedback on the users so it's quite obvious those things how you improved it and uh what uh, how you implemented it basically the feedback you got and us feedback pe aapne kaise implement karke changes banaye now code testing and iteration so you need to highlight one challenge you faced while building your code to aap jab code apna build kar rahe the when you were writing the piece of code whatever challenge you faced you need to describe it you need to highlight it including the detail of how you addressed that challenge and what technical decisions also you took and the implementations you had to make uh, i think it's quite obvious now moving on to the seventh one the success and the completion of the solution so how does your solution address the challenge you were looking for describe the success of your solution using the matrix goals and the outcomes like this is basically talking about a uh, analysis for example for your solution you can uh, give a graphical representation that this is the number of people uh, people who were using it and uh, it helped these the, these these things and you need to give a graph you can give a graph like this obviously anything can happen but i'm telling you that you have to give a analysis of what you did right you need to give the outcomes how it helped actually and also you need to tell them that which google technologies you used to track the usage analytics right also where the numbers are in possible to use please describe your projects impact using the cause and effect that this is the particular cause and this was the effect that why you implemented this and what is the effect of after implementing it right the most important part you need to upload a copy of your demo video you need to record a video of maximum 2 minutes and you need to make sure that this video demonstrates a working application you need to show them you need to display them how a user can use your application of the project which you made इन सिंपल वर्ड्स आपको एक वीडियो बना के दिखाना है दैट हाउ द सोल्यूशन विच यू हैव मेड इज इम्पैक्टिंग हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू इंटरक्ट अगर कोई नॉर्मल यूजर आपका एप्लीकेशन यूज कर रहा है तो वो कैसे करेगा उसको डिस्क्राइब करना आपको तरीका कि कैसे यूज करे आपके उस एप्लीकेशन को या जो भी आपने सोल्यूशन दिया है राइट एंड इट मेक्स द इफेक्टिव यूज ऑफ द चोजन गूगल प्रोडक्ट्स सो फील फ्री टू इंक्लूड द इन्फोग्राफिक्स और द विजुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द डेटा इन यू डेमो वीडियो now the scalability of the final project so you need to tell that what future you see for your project what are the next steps for your project and what will you do to reach to a larger audience for example you are making a startup on this project so how are you going to expand this to a larger audience also you can explain how the technical architecture of your solution should support 
with a minor changes scaling to a larger audience that how the structure which you have used you can use it to scale to the larger audience by what technicalities you can use right i hope the points were clear now let's move on to the price counter so the top 100 teams globally remember it is globally they are going to receive a customized mentorship from googlers and the experts to take the solution to the next level and a branded t-shirt with a certificate the final top 10 teams they will receive additional mentorship a swag box and the opportunity to showcase the solution to the googlers and the developers all around the world at the demo day live on youtube the contest finalist they are going in addition to the swag box each of the individual will get a cash price per student and whole team will get not more than dollar four thousand so in rupees obviously this is a big amount four thousand and uh, dollar is 80 i guess right now so total three lakh uh, twenty thousand would be there given to whole of the team and uh, if you talk about the winning three globally they are going to get a cash price of dollar twelve thousand which is around nine lakh sixty thousand in rupees so this is about the winning three now talking about the milestones which each gdsc has been given so there are four milestones platinum gold silver and bronze um these are for the gdscs i guess um uh, uh, you can take a screenshot and you can read because it's not that uh, important for you guys but yeah i can show you the prices of course so uh, these are the prices for the platinum this is gold this is the price for the gold uh, for the silver milestone this is the recognition you'll get and this is the recognition for the bronze zone so uh, for the milestone part if you're interested you can let me know in the comments but still uh, please let me know if you are excited for this uh, solution challenge along with the, the discover design and develop and um, any queries regarding the event please comment down and also i would be creating a video on how to register for solution challenge the registration form and whatever they have asked so uh, if you want me to create the video on that please let me know in the comments itself